Hi, Leslie Zoe. Good evening. Congressional Democrats and D.C. elected leaders, they continue to chip away at the arguments against D.C. becoming the 51st state. You know, this is only the second time in history that the United States Senate has taken up this issue. But the battle lines have certainly been drawn, and Senate Republicans have shown no appetite that they are willing to budge on this issue of making D.C. the 51st state. They have been fighting uh, for this for 220 years. We will not quit until we achieve full dem democracy. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser has worn out a path from her office to Capitol Hill. But today, for the first time, she laid out the case for senators on why D.C. should become the 51st state. Chief among those reasons, residents being taxed without being represented. The people of the District of Columbia have no interest in waging a war for independence. They just want to be treated fairly and justly. Among Mayor Bowser's allies, Delaware Democrat Tom Carper, who's lead sponsor of the D.C. statehood bill. 45 other Democrats have signed on to the bill, and Carper has brought former senator and vice presidential nominee Joe Lieberman back to the Capitol to try and sway uncommitted senators. The arguments against this legislation don't come near to overcoming the great principled constitutional arguments for it. From my standpoint, you know, again, we can talk about the constitutionality, we can talk about the complexities uh, with the statutes and how to deal with the 23rd Amendment. To me, this seems like just a naked power grab. Republican senators in the hearing questioned if it's constitutional for D.C. to become a state and if all but a sliver of D.C. should just rejoin Maryland. The Democrats think that they won't be able to control the United States Senate in the long term. They need to add two more Democrat seats to control the Senate, so it's really, really important. D.C. residents, you you know, uh, Senator, aren't asking for special treatment. Uh, we are asking to be treated equally. Now, D.C. leaders and congressional Democrats, they are optimistic about this bill, D.C. statehood, moving forward. But at the same time, they are realistic. Literally, as we speak, Senate Republicans are moving to block this massive sweeping voting rights measure the for the People Act in the Senate. And you can bet that if they are unified on blocking that, they will equally be unified on blocking a D.C. statehood bill as well. Coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from Mayor Bowser and Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. I pulled them aside after the hearing to get their impressions and how they thought things went today and how far they think this bill could advance this year. We're live on Capitol Hill. Adam Longo, WUSA 9. And now they certainly hope there is some momentum in acknowledging the humanity of the 700,000 people in the district who pay taxes but don't have full representation. Adam, thank you.